Hello there YouTube, it is your boy King Sunny here guys. In this video we will look at Musad Al Dusari, MS Dusari 7. We will be focusing on his gameplay from a professional tournament that is currently happening in Qatar. Guys, the footage belongs to Oradio Nation. So shout out to them for organizing such a great tournament. I will put the link for their stream in the description so you can watch the final between MS Dusari and SAF Kalen on Saturday. With that being said guys, in this match we will focus on what Dusari does so well. Why is he so successful and we will watch this match together and have some fun and also learn at the same time. So let's get straight into it guys. As you can see Falcon MS Dusari in his team Falcons kit with green and black kit. A lot of top Middle East players in this tournament guys. You European guys might not recognize some of them but they are very popular in our region guys. So we're going to be focusing on what Dusari is doing right. The first thing. I have already watched this match. I want you to focus on this man's manual pressing, okay? Just focus on how he's switching the players. You will feel like the team press is on all the times. Just look at it. If you look at his cursor, just look at this, right? He's able to trap so many players at once. Look how he just controls Neymar, pushes him up, and now he's pressing with Alves and just keep paying attention, right? And the other thing, Dusari, the guys, he is playing a 4-3-2-1 formation many times during this tournament and not just him so many other players are playing the 4-3-2-1 formation it has been so popular as of late especially also if you put your fullbacks on overlap and, and activate attacking fullbacks in game it's very overpowered guys right so with Dusari you can see look at his face in the camera man eyes in his veins like no matter what mistakes he makes he's always so composed and he is true to his plan which is to press 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 right Let's look at this man. Players are making runs, bombarding forward using the manual runs. The thing about MS Dosari, which makes him so good, which makes him arguably the greatest FIFA player in the history, is his ability to read his opponents, right? And he doesn't do anything special, but his little attention to detail is amazing. Just look at what he is doing, you will see, right? Just pay attention, man. I don't want to break it down too much so you guys don't get too bored, but for those who want to learn, just look, right? His fullbacks making these runs, you will see on the other hand side Marcelo will also make the run and MS Dusari does at times use the long ball tactic that we discussed in our other custom tactics video. As you can see Marcelo is already there, great double tap pass into R9, probably a short cancel and he would have scored. Regardless, if you just look at this attack, just little details man, the moment his opponent makes a little mistake, I won't even blame his opponents too much over there, just the timing on the past and the you know skill to do the double tap pass in that situation since fifa is based on decision making his decision making is insane guys right once again the moment he loses the ball he wins it back the moment he loses it he wins it back look he loses the ball with his center back he has already pressed him and now he is going with his cm bellingham just trapping his opponent always constantly switching always thinking where the next pass opponent will make right just look his opponent, before he even turned, his Marcelo is over there trying to mark this pass. This is great, man. This man, team pressing, manual pressing is on another level. He is one of his kind when it comes to manual pressing. Alright, offside trapping, suffocating his opponent, right? His goal is to win the ball back. Boom, boom, boom. Attack, 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 attack. Wins the ball, recycles it. Once again, look at his fullbacks, right? Marcelo is over there. Danny Alves is over there. He's got two... CM, sorry, two CBs at the back, but his goal is to press, suffocate the opponent, get the ball as soon as possible, and then launch attacks, right? In these 25 minutes, he has been all over his opponent. He's playing a semi final, good tournament, big tournament in Qatar. Just look. He won't rush his attack. Oh my god, just look. This looks so simple. You might think, oh my god, there's nothing special in this, but if I rewind it, just look, he wins the ball over here with Marcelo, with Marcelo, he's paying attention, paying attention, paying attention, goes inside, into Firmino, actually waits for his opponent, baits him with the fake runs, baits him, baits him, waits, makes a beautiful first time pass and then cuts the ball on Mbappe's left foot, on his weaker foot and gets the goal. Easy finish man, easy finish, insane. So these little details are everything man, at highest level of FIFA. I'm looking forward to seeing MS Dosari at the World Cup, man, or at the playoffs at least, right? So if he can then make it to the World Cup. It, it will be an amazing battle between him and the European Giants. Offside trapping. Excellent, right? 
you will see with his press he does not make a mistake he really makes a mistake with his press you will see often other professional players they are also very good at pressing but with ms dosari his pressing it's on another level man his pressing is on another level he doesn't really make mistakes right he does not abide by the defensive rules he makes his own defensive rules is always pressing trying to suffocate apply as much pressure as possible on the opponents right he just wants to apply as much pressure as possible and that's his natural style he is sticking true to it no matter what year of fifa we are playing since fifa 17 he is sticking to his real plan his natural plan and that works out for him right he usually just uses r2 and right stick switching in combination with occasional l2 just runs into his opponent to get the ball back so you can see once again paying attention with dosari it's all about his pressing the moment he wins the ball back the way he wins the ball back is the difference maker right because he wins the ball back in such crucial areas of the pitch he gets easy goal scoring opportunities even if you look at his matches from previous years because i've been following him since fifa 17 so i know this for a fact right let's look at this man yes his attacking style is very like i can say dangerous in a way but he is confident that if i lose the ball I can win the ball even if my full backs are up I don't care because I can win the ball back. Just paying attention to what's happening on the pitch. Hey, let's look at this. Okay, let me just quickly break it down for you guys. What actually happens? Look. First Dosari pushes up his Mbappe and now he's already switched to this R9 trying to cover this pass because often what happens is players make one pass and then they try to make another pass into the other guy and he's already marking that guy now afterwards he will then switch to his cm look at over here bellingham right and he's already trying to mark the next pass and with firmino and then with militao and eventually he gets the ball back it's all about rinsing and repeating right now his marcel is on the run he's got this attacking overload beautiful roulette well timed roulette roulette i've shown you guys how to do it And like 4 months ago I made a tutorial on roulette. If you want to see it, I will link it down below. If you want to pay attention to the right stick switching secrets of professional players, we have already discussed that in depth on another video which will also be linked in the description. So make sure to check it out after this match, guys, right? Now, with Dosari, when he is playing a professional tournament match, he is another player, man. He is another player. This is what makes him so special because in tournament matches he reaches his flow state is playing at his 100% level he's another player he's another player in tournaments right if you play him you know even in normal tournaments he plays well but when it really matters when there is something huge at stake he becomes something else man it's like this didn't even give a shot to his opponent that is not to say his opponent is bad because this is a semi final match his opponent is playing a 352 and this tournament featured some of the very best players in the middle east and africa region guys i'm telling you when i say there are amazing players in this region they really are man so talking about formations in this tournament many players have been using the 4321 formation the 352 is very popular as well so yeah man 4-3-2-1 has been very popular all over the world in all regions especially when your full backs overload on the side it's another thing right but with the 4-3-2-1 my problem is if you're not very good with right stick switching like ms dosari is if you're not very good at manual pressing like the professional players then it will backfire you will concede counter attack goals so that's why i do not recommend it to the casual player just yet right yes the 4-3-2-1 menu catch many casual players use it's good to attack but i am talking about in terms of you know playing it with full backs overlapping and high pressing style over here dosari concedes is just a bit too aggressive with his cms like i said it will of course backfire it does backfire and he concedes a goal but look at his face does not care his opponents often react man but this guy and nicolas they never react they never react to what's happening it's like nothing has happened you know i conceded a goal who cares dude move on i lost the ball who cares move on i'm just going to press 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 look he's defending with one guy over here two versus one will get away with the ball once again like this is the confidence this is the nerves this guy carries man these are the nerves he has and it's absolutely amazing so from the sari we have already learned that if you want to be successful at manual pressing you need to know the right stick secrets 
which we have discussed in this video which we have discussed before basically your ability to anticipate i cannot stress it enough i am one of the rare guys on youtube telling you to practice anticipation watch professional players you know play better players because you need to improve the skill of anticipation people do not understand how important anticipation is if you ask any top pro player or pro coach they will always tell you that anticipation is key man if you cannot read what's going to happen in the next a couple of seconds on fifa then you are not a very good player because your anticipation is bad right people think i'm going to learn these these skill move and i'm going to become a beast it does not happen like that fifa is a game which you cannot improve at overnight it's a process it's a process which you have to go through right already picturing those hatred comments in the comments like oh my god but my game i play on 40 ms oh my god but this but that like okay, keep it up man keep it up if you want to improve you will improve sometimes when i speak the truth i lose subscribers but i don't care right if it resonates with you you will improve let's look at this ms dosari has everything in his locker the moment he gets just a little bit of space his opponent isn't even really doing anything wrong he's pressing him he's trying to close down the angle trying to close down the pass into the striker but this man green times it noir cannot stop it his ability to anticipate this is called anticipation guys we were talking about anticipation there is your example then my man is sipping in his red bull i do not recommend that by the way sipping red bull during matches na water is king man but of course the sari is sponsored by red bull he should be sipping in his red bull we can see his opponent making some changes in this match playing constant pressure right because he's losing to nil currently but if i am not mistaken this is a two legged match anyways we move on ms dosari once again back in shape he has got his coach enzo who was previously the coach of f2 tax when he used to play in f2 now he is coaching his rivals actually is the head coach of team falcons team falcons which is ms dosari's own esports team if you did not know guys So this man is doing everything, you know, creating a brand and playing top FIFA. What a king, man! What a king! All right then. You can see the way he defends. Even when the opponent is in his own half, like it feels like this man has activated team press, right? Let's look at this. His opponent is always marked by his players. Always marked by his players. Look. Every player on the pitch is marked by MS Dosari's player. Even when his opponent gets into a threatening position, MS Dosari switches to his center back and rushes at him. It's not mindless rushing, right? He knows what he is doing. He is basically trapping his opponent like we have talked in the video called Pro Defensive Secrets which will also be linked in the description, right? You can see I am always trying my best to teach you these advanced mechanics before anyone else on YouTube. And if you resonate with it you will of course definitely improve right saint maxi i really like the saint maxi card though although i've never really used him but i really like the way he plays for my opponents right so again ms dosari pressing 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 baiting this is called baiting by the way by baiting like i have talked previously i'm repeating myself but baiting actually means is that you will pull one player out of position you will purposely give space to your opponent show him that okay you can now make this pass but the moment he thinks that okay there is space for me you will switch to the next player who's closest and then you will sprint in the empty space with him and now you will get the ball back because you knew you wanted your opponent to play the pass into the empty space so you were already covering it you knew how to cover it but your opponent thought you were a dummy and you gave him the space so it's all about bait and switch in defending at the highest level of the game right this is what i'm trying to teach you guys so it's been a very good match ms dosari is very good at basics this is why he is always so good right i made a video last year as well and i called him a fundamentalist and that is what he is ms dosari is a fundamentalist guys and this is why he is so good year in year out right here he makes a little mistakes little mistake he makes is that he is not passing in the direction he is facing we all are human we all make mistakes right he's probably not very happy with himself over there because it was a layman error but once again trying to defend trying to defend gets the ball back his opponent is now constantly pressing him let's see how dosari beats pressure right once again always trying to look for the space because it's always about finding the space and exploiting the space misses he misses completely misses the chance 
it can happen right but he is not faced he does not care his opponent will react but he does not care whatever is happening on the pitch my man doesn't give a damn this is what i've been trying to teach you this is his mental state it's peak mental state man nothing faces him when he's playing at the highest level nothing faces him right because he knows the only thing that actually matters is the next pass right this is what makes him so good it's his experience man great once again great defending so opponent is whenever the opponent presses him he's always looking out on the wings for his wingers trying to get the ball to his wingers so he can launch the counter attack or even if he does not launch the counter attack at least he's losing the ball on the wings compared to losing the ball in the middle because you never want to really lose the ball in the middle of the pitch right gets a little bit unlucky or i would say that's a good tackle from his opponent once again ruben diaz totti ruben diaz my favorite center back on the game defending gets unlucky that is fifa happening but once again just look at his face my man does not get faced he just gives a little smile because he know he's playing a tournament if this was another professional player i know i am not going to take any name they will be very enraged and they will try to make a twitter post after conceding a comeback from their opponent but because this is mosad al dosari he doesn't get faced he will try to score another goal on his opponent right and i'm just joking with you guys i'm just here trying to emphasize the importance of mentality right once again loses the ball he's trying to score another goal great speed boost with jaden sancho and he does score the goal with david juniola his super sub and does halut baby right this this speed boost we have talked about this speed boost as well very good speed boost man i made a youtube shorts video about it the double tap r2 speed boost which is very good it doesn't get faced he's just giving a little smirk to his coach his coach is doing the same enzo who is a great coach by the way so guys you can see with ms dosari it's only about two things number one he does not get faced he has mentality of a lion he has champion mentality and champions on fifa are made only when they have this kind of mentality second if you talk about his mechanics it's his ability to anticipate and its ability to right stick switch and always get into the mind of his opponent and he's able to switch the players at the right time before his opponent even thinks of what he's going to do he's always so quick with it he's marking 3 to 4 players at one time he knows how to control the eleven players on the pitch this is what makes him so special his offside trap he's always suffocating the opponent in attack he's always looking for the simple things man since it's all about doing the simple things right he's a fundamentalist that is who he is guys hopefully you enjoyed this new kind of video if you did let me know and until next time is speaking sunny out see you soon